But I think he's very much on the brink. One thing, ironically, may have saved him this week is that he's heavily involved with the David Gold tributes. Um, and obviously, they're going to be happening before the game. And it would be a bit distasteful if he was involved in all of those. And then he would have lost his job the days before. So I think that's almost bought him a bit of time. He's right on the brink. Whilst previously, they were always saying, we back the manager 100%. This week, they've been saying things like, we desperately want him to turn it round, but we may have to look at the situation, which is a, a change in stance from, from before. If he does lose his job, a newspaper yesterday reported that Rafael Benitez or Nuno Espirito Santo are the front runners to take over the job. I know you've done some digging into those links. How tangible are they? Well, I think Rafa's got some strength because um, obviously West Ham fans know this, but other fans might not. When he took the Real Madrid job, he was he was hours away from having agreed to sign as West Ham manager. So he's met with West Ham, he's met with the owners, and it's all been agreed at another point in time. So this time... I wouldn't surprise me if we went for him. I believe that the club are going to look for a manager that's out of contracts. I think Nuno's got a job already. I think he might be in Saudi Arabia or somewhere. So I think that rules him out. But for me, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. But the two managers, I think that the club will look to get in on a short-term basis for now would either be Rafa Benitez or Sean Dyche. 